Hey, this is Steve from Metaslider. Now, Metaslider is one of the most popular WordPress plugins for adding sliders and carousels to your site. And I'm going to show you how it works in this video. It's really quite simple to install and get up a slideshow in just a few minutes. I have a new WordPress site here. And to get started with Metaslider, go to the plugins area, click the add new plugin screen, and you can search for Metaslider, M-E-T-A-S-L-I-D-E-R. And there we have Metaslider, the orange logo. Click on the Install Now button. And once that's done, click on Activate. And after installation, you'll be taken to this screen, which says, thanks for using Metaslider. If you have some of your own images ready, you can drag and drop them here, or you can choose to use one of our samples. You can choose the image slideshow to get started, for example. Choose image slideshow, click on create a slideshow, and then you're going to get a little guide to using Metaslider with these icons here. I've X'd out of those to show you how it works in a visual form. And now you have the slideshow images in front of you. We've automatically added four different images here. And up the top, there's a preview link. You can click on the preview link to see what this slideshow is going to look like. There's the first image, there's the second, there's the third. Up in the top left corner, you can customize how this preview looks. For example, you could choose to have a white background, or you could choose to have a slightly larger version. But the preview is there whenever you need to see what you've done. If you want to add more images, you can go to the Add Slide area up at the top, You'll be taken directly to the normal WordPress media library. And if you already have some images or need to upload them, you can do so here. I'm going to choose this particular image to get started with. And I will click on add to slideshow. There we go. This image is added to the bottom. It will be automatically cropped to be the same size as the other images. If you want to add this slideshow to your site, to see what it looks like on the front end for your visitors. The short code is available down here. And this is probably the quickest and easiest way to add Metaslider to your site, but there are many more options. I'm going to click on the short code and it will be copied so I can paste it anywhere I want. I'm going to go to the posts area, click add a new post. And my post will be called slideshow. And I will paste in the short code I created just a few moments ago. I'll click on publish. On the front of the site, we can see our slideshow in action. And it should be rotating every few seconds to show a new image. Now, there's quite a few things missing from this so far. What you see in front of you now is a basic slideshow. It rotates your images, and there are arrows to allow you to navigate through the images. But Metaslider allows you to do a lot more. The quickest way to make changes is to go to the Metaslider link in your admin bar and click the edit link. This will take you directly into the admin area of your Metaslider slideshow. On the right hand side, you'll find the key settings. For example, you can change the navigation. If you choose dots and click save, you can go back to the front of your slideshow and there will be dots underneath. And you can use these to navigate through the images on the slideshow. If you go back to the admin area again, you can make more changes. For example, you can choose a custom theme on the right side. I'm going to click on the Select a Custom Theme button. And how about I choose the Bubble Theme? This is described as a fun, circular design to brighten up your site. 
So choose bubble, choose select. And if I save this change and visit the front of Metaslider, I now have much bigger arrows and much bigger navigation as well. If you keep returning to the admin area of your Metaslider slideshow, you can keep experimenting and making changes and adding new features. For example, you might change the theme again. How about the Jenga theme, which is available here? What this will do is move the controls of your slideshow so that they're vertical instead. I'm now going to show you a couple more options that you can use from the quick start area of Metaslider. I'm going to go back to the admin area, to Metaslider, to quick start. And this time, using the sample images area on the right hand side, I'm going to choose the carousel slideshow option. I'm going to click on create a slideshow. And what happens this time is you automatically have a slideshow created that is in a carousel format. What this means is more than one image appears on the screen at the same time. And if you go back to Quick Start, you can take this one step further. You can choose the carousel slideshow with captions. I'm going to click on Create a Slideshow. And this time, I'm going to get Slides. They have a caption area in the middle. I'm going to remove the dummy text. I'll enter my own caption. And if I click on save and then preview, I'm going to see a carousel of multiple slides with a caption here. This is my caption. It really is quick and easy to build a powerful slideshow with Metaslider. And the best thing is it's completely free. You can head over to wordpress.org and start creating powerful slideshows today.